Thanks for checking out this video. So it's another haul video, and this is almost all Giallo. I mean, for the most part, it's Giallo. So I'm excited to talk about these. And uh, I'll go over them one by one. But if you didn't see, I had an initial haul video that was all Giallo films. Then I had a part two that was also all Giallo films. And this one is all Giallo except one. And I purchased these all through Diabolic DVD, which... As you probably know, if you've been watching enough of my videos, you know I like to purchase through them. They have a great selection, and it's a great place where you can just go to one spot if you're looking for a bunch of movies that are distributed by different people, and you can just get it all there for not that much extra. So it's worth the convenience. So anyway, um, let me get right into it. This first one I have not seen before. Uh, it's by a director who I've seen a good amount of their films, and I actually have a whole playlist of reviews of films of theirs on my channel if you want to check it out. That is Lucio Fulci, and uh, this is a Mondo Macabro release of a lizard in a woman's skin. I've heard great things about this. I've heard this is kind of one of the quintessential uh, Giallo films that you must watch. Uh, there's actually like, I forget which website it is, but I had found a website. I may have talked about this on one of my other videos, but basically, oh, almost dropped it. Basically uh, found this website where it kind of breaks down the history of Giallo and tracking the films and eat for each kind of period that Giallo went through what the most quintessential films are to check out. So I'm collecting all of those, whether I've seen them or not. And obviously this one I have not seen yet. So very interested. I'm a fan of Fulci. I've been meaning to get to this one. So yeah. Uh, also, I don't yet own uh, Don't Torture a Duckling by Fulci. I have seen it and I have a review for it on my channel. I just haven't, you know, haven't bought it yet we'll get there eventually but i'm not reading for any of these uh the synopses on the back or anything for myself or for anyone else because i like to go into giallo blind if i haven't seen it 100 percent. so yeah so that's the first one excited to check that out and when i watch it there will be a review for it on the channel the next one i have also not seen and this is one of my new favorite directors it's probably my new favorite director overall I went on a binge of their stuff because Shudder had a bunch, and I also have a whole playlist on my channel for reviews for their films, uh, although I haven't done all of them, and that is Mario Bava, and this film is Five Dolls for an August Moon. This is yet another one of those quintessential must-watch Giallo films. Uh, excited to check this one out. has a really cool cover to it. This one's put out by Kino. Uh, Kino Lorber, which actually Kino Lorber puts out pretty much all Bava stuff. Actually, when I say pretty much, it might actually be all Bava stuff is through Kino Lorber. I think they have the exclusive rights. So excited about this one. I believe Edwish Fennec isn't, yep, she's in this one. She's my crush. She's my Giallo film crush. There's something about Edwish Fennec, just something about her. So excited to check this one out. Once again, there will be a review for it on the channel when I do. Another one, uh, the next one is another Mario Bava Giallo film. I already own The Evil Eye that was in one of my other haul videos. So this one is another one I haven't seen, Hatchet for the Honeymoon. Yet another one that was on the list of being quintessential. So very excited to check this out. This looks much older, I think it actually is. Um, so very, very interested in this one. Also Kino Lorber, obviously. Uh, like I was talking about, I think it's all his stuff. I like... Um, I like the artwork on this one a lot more. This has a lot more interesting cover to it than uh, $5 for an August Moon did. But anyway, once again, once I watch it, there will be a review on the channel. So the next one is actually one I've seen before and I already have a review for on my channel. And it's not Mario Bava and it's not Lucio Fulci. It is Sergio Martino and that is all the colors of the dark. And yes, it has Edwige Fennec in it. I was like, you know what, at this point, I think I'm just going to purchase every film or every Giallo film that Edwige has been in, which, you know, that's what, you know, made her popular was being in all these Giallo films. So I'm just collecting them all. This is a Severin release, but obviously got it through Diabolic DVD. Cool cover, by the way. I like that. Um, there's a documentary that someone was actually telling me about in the comments of, I think, one of my haul videos for Giallo. And they were saying that there is a film, a documentary about Giallo called All the Colors of Giallo. And it's actually like, I've seen it, like the cover set up very much like this cover, kind of designed that way. So 
Uh, I've seen some other uh, Sergio Martino films and good stuff. So I think I, I think I have a playlist on my channel for Sergio Martino films. If I don't, I should create one. But anyway, uh, already a review for this one. So you can check that out now. And then this last one, this is the one that is not Giallo, but I had to get it. It's kind of Giallo connected, though, and that's because it is also a Sergio Martino film. Now, I've heard a lot about this one recently because of this kind of reissue of the film on Blu-ray. And Diabolic DVD, I think, on social media had said something about it winning some sort of award or being on some sort of list for being like one of the best uh, blue Blu-ray releases, like re-releases um of 2020 i guess so and it looks interesting it looks very interesting and that film is it's by cauldron and it's uh american rickshaw so i looked up the very you know brief log line for this and uh it sounds nuts uh, it looks nuts and it looks fun and i'm very interested in checking it out and once again when i do I'll put a review for it on my channel. Now, if you know anything about American Rickshaw in particular, don't, no spoilers, just put some comments down there. Do you think I'm going to like it? Is it a so bad it's good film? That's what I'm really hoping is that it's one of those so bad it's good films because I love that. But um, if it's a good film, awesome. If it's a bad film, I guess also let me know because I'll kind of need to have that info going into it. But anyway, um, I mean, just look at that cover. That cover's nuts, man. With that boar in the middle. I'm very excited to find out what the uh, significance of that wild-looking boar is. Very interesting. So anyway, that's it uh, for this haul video. For this haul video, I'm excited to tear into some of these. If you if you'll notice, if you look back here, you see the stack right here. It keeps growing over videos after every time I have a haul video, basically, because that's where I'm stacking all the Blu-rays and DVDs that I'm meaning to watch and do reviews for so you're just gonna see it grow because <laughs> because it's just growing at the moment i'll get through it at some point and then maybe when you're watching videos you'll see it start to go down hopefully but anyway uh thanks for checking this out comments down here if you just want to get nerdy about giallo or horror in general i'm all about that but um do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button if you like this video or any video i've ever done that is your best way to repay me for watching this content because i don't make money or anything um, I get paid in subscribers, basically, and gratitude and comments. And if you want to throw a thumbs up on it, you can do that too. But the big thing is subscribers, because I appreciate that. Trying to build this community of horror nerds. Uh, also, just hit the notification bell, and then you'll know whenever I'm putting up new videos, whether it's a haul video like this, an unboxing video like I do for uh, Fright Crate, uh, one of my many movie reviews, any of that stuff. But regardless, I appreciate you taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.